No slouch. What the frick? What is up guys? Welcome back to another video about this Chinese electric sport bike. Today, Lord Kurt is actually headed over here right now. We're gonna be programming and actually tuning this bike. Um, so I am freaking stoked. I think Lord Kurt's, he's actually pulling up right now. Oh yeah, there we go. Now we're talking. Yeah, we're doing a YouTube video right now. Did you guys see our? Did you see my last one I just posted today? No. Did you guys watch? You gotta go watch that. You have to go watch that. You gotta go smash the like button. Go smash the like button. Definitely. Whatever settings we changed, it definitely helped. It definitely helped. It felt a lot more responsive. All right, boys, we just made a big old discovery. The controller was, is, it was from the factory. They tell you, you they use a different motor to test the controller, and so it's set for that motor, and that motor was an eight pole motor. This one's, this one's a 16 pole. So we changed it, and it instantly sounds way better. You Listen to the this. Torque starts immediately. That's way better. We also set the, the regen braking to kick on when, when I released the throttle just a little bit, so that's why it stops. It used to just kept going. Now it's regenerating. Listen how smooth this is, guys. That got rid of the clunking. It sounds That's so nice. much better. It's gonna be, we had like throttle yeah. delay where he'd release and he got half a second where it would still show throttle. Yeah, I noted that in my last video yeah. when I was riding it. Yeah, it, it jolts you right at the right at the top of the throttle there. Right when you let off the throttle, it does decelerate. It pulls you a little quicker, and then it starts decelerating. I don't know what it is, but... And there was a, a setting second. for that. It give you half a second where it would keep the throttle as if it was still pulled. So it's right. like a delay, like motor delay. So it's supposed to mimic a gasoline engine right. to a certain extent. There's not, it doesn't immediately stop working. So we turned so that turn off. To 0.1 seconds. Exactly. So it's going to stop, and, and regen is going to kick on right when I release the throttle. So and you guys can see it. Cold yeah, and you guys can see it. All right, boys, here's the first test after being tuned. It's already so much twitchier. Oh, yeah, that feels way better. Oh, yeah, that, oh, that feels way better. That's a heck of a lot faster. Freak! And it lets off like a gas motorcycle now. You release the throttle, and it dives the front end just a touch because you're slowing down. It's definitely smoother too. It does not clunk. It's way more responsive. And I can feel regen with no, without touching it. I can feel regen doing its thing. It is worth noting that we're on a full charge today too. Last ride was half, half charge. Today we are on a full 83 volts, baby. pretty boring stuff but I did want to let you guys know I did add a battery temperature sensor here Lloyd Kurt bought that picked that up and uh, I just I just slapped it in here I just had to cut a hole in the fairing right here and this actually clipped in ex I didn't have to use anything it just had like two little uh, clip tabs on the side it went right in um, it's temporarily wired up right now I was just testing it and it looks really cool I really like it came in in Celsius I'm sure you can change that to Fahrenheit somehow but it still reads and has a little display so I, I really don't care but yeah so next step is getting this actually installed I am actually hardwiring the GPS in right now as well the GPS I got is a seven inch so it's a freaking huge one and uh, it's gonna look absolutely amazing right here the only issue I'm facing with installing a GPS unit is these are actually five volts so <laughs> This bike is gonna have five volt, 12 volt, 24 volt, and 72 volt, all in one motorcycle. <laughs> so it's absolutely insane. So right now, I'm trying to figure out, this came with the GPS, I just literally got it. So I'm gonna take this apart, and it has a 12 volt to five volt converter inside this. That's exactly what we need, so I'm just gonna take this apart, I'm gonna hardwire the GPS in, so it's just on when the ignition turns on, and it turns off when the ignition turns off, so. Yeah, dude, I'm super excited.
All right, guys, it's a little bit later. I had to go get self-tapping screws and whatnot to finish the installation of this. Um, so that slowed me down a bit, but guys, I just wrapped up this thing. Check this out. I am so excited. It looks amazing. It looks so good. And so I have a seven inch touchscreen GPS multimedia kind of head unit here. Oh my goodness, guys. I never thought this day would come. This is amazing. So I got the GPS here. I do have the temperature gauge wired in as well over there. This dash looks absolutely amazing now. I cannot wait to be riding on this thing. That's crazy. And with the headlights, it's gonna look even better. Tomorrow I get to take it on a top speed run. I really want you guys to have a GPS here so when I'm actually pegging it, you guys can actually see the speed climbing. Cause that would be very anticlimactic if, <laughs> if I was like full tuck and everything, you guys couldn't even see the speed climbing. So I figured I'd get this done before I showed you guys the top speed. And so that's that guys. It looks amazing and I can't wait to give it a full send tomorrow. All right, well, we might as well go get that top speed in, huh? All right, let's get it a test. All right, real quick, I need to pull over and uh, start my phone. I forgot, I gotta start my phone app. Get us as accurate a reading as possible. Battery voltage is reading at 80.8. So it's it's pretty much a full battery, but I have gone on a couple test rides with it, so it's not like topped off, but that's a fair way to test it, I think. It shouldn't be completely topped off, but it's just enough to where it's pretty much full, so. Okay, I will casually walk over here, since everybody is haters and saying this thing's not super accurate. Wow, look at that, two miles an hour, one mile an hour. All right, I'll stick this in my pocket and we'll get to it. All right, well, this is as good a street as any. Let's get this. Oh man, this thing's pretty quick. All right, let's get this, boys. There's a heavy wind against me right now. Very heavy wind against me. We're at 70. Ah. I keep reaching for the rear brake. I'm still conditioned for motorcycles, gasoline motorcycles. All right, well, let's see if we hit these lights right. But we're already at 60. <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna hit the light. All right, let's do this again. Man, that pulls, man. That pulls. We're at 70. I don't think we're climbing any higher. Again, there's a heavy wind. You can, <laughs> you can hear it. All right, I think that was a fair test right there. Let me, let me get off to the side of the road. I'm gonna check everything. All right, I'm just gonna pull over right here in the shade because it's warm. So I had two concerns with this today. The fairings. The Chinese from the factory tightened the screws way too much and actually broke off. You guys can see this, these little plastic tabs that holds the fairings basically together, top and bottom. But it still does take a decent bit of pressure to you know, pull them off, but, and I think doing a top speed run right now with the wind against us, like that's the max wind it's gonna have probably. I think we're probably pretty solid. The other concern I had as well is this nut down here, looks like it hasn't turned anymore, which is good, which is really good. Um, but remember I told you guys in the last video, the build video, that this, uh, this wheel actually had different spacing than the other wheel. So there were actually less threads on this side than there were on that side. So this nut doesn't go all the way onto the axle. So, you know, it is what it is. It looks like it's holding. So I'll call it good for now. But that's why I did do the little lines right there, just so I can make sure it's not spinning on me. And the temperature right now is at 
27.9 degrees. So no battery heating issues as of right now. You guys ready for this? Let's do it. I think this bike looks amazing though. What do you guys think? All right, well, let's just get to it, guys. Let's drag some knee around this corner and freaking get to it. Grip it and rip it. Let's do this. That's as fast as we're getting right there. The brakes on this thing actually aren't all that bad. I've been kind of, I've been kind of hating on them, but they're actually not all that bad with regen. I think that's actually the, I think that's actually the key. What I'm feeling is the regen is actually holding me back quite a bit. Like I have ridden super sport motorcycles. I am used to that kind of power and I know those are insane. This is just a different kind of feeling. Like it's not quite as fast, sure. But even so, it just kind of like pulls you. It almost feels like a roller coaster. Again, disclaimer, it's not like a super sport. It's not a 1000cc super sport fast, but still 060 is just under five seconds. So it's like no slouch. What the frick? Oh, okay, well, it stopped for some reason. I don't know. I'm on high alert right now. Oh wait, it cut out again. Frick, what the heck? It cut out again. Yeah, I have no throttle right now. Uh, let's just turn it off. I am really confused right now. All right, well, let's try to get home. It's fast, it's normal now. And it's dead. What the frick? All right, I'm gonna turn it off for a second again. All right, let's turn it back on, see what it does. A regen just kicked on. Okay, yeah, it's working again. All right, I'm just gonna go in this parking lot, make sure everything's okay. Yeah, it feels fine. Everything looks fine. Temperature's at 32.6 degrees Celsius. But again, it is a hot day today. So I think the battery temperature is doing just fine. All right, well, I'm just gonna head home. We got our top speed run. That's all we needed to do today. How about that? All right, we're back and apparently my GoPro stopped recording. And so I pulled it up on my phone, the history. So you can see here, my maximum speed was 73 miles per hour and I rode 7.65 miles. So I also did a little bit of thinking. I think it's the controller was heating up a little bit too much. And so it was auto shut off with the regen and the full throttle. I think it was just heating up the controller too much. So it auto cut itself off. And so every time I turned the key off, it would cool down just enough to turn back on and get me home. Um, so I think that's what the issue was. But that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video.